Hello and welcome to the start of this video. It's a charity shop haul, so everything you're about to see I found recently secondhand. So an amazing thrifted haul. I've got some yeah fantastic things to show you from clothes to diffusers. I've got some just lovely, lovely things. Oh, and some camping gear as well. But somebody said last week they hadn't seen Rufus in ages, so I thought he could start off a video with me. And I've got a gravy bone here. But Rufus has been good, haven't you, Rufus? And having a lovely time. I gave him a bath the other day and um, brushed all his fur. So he's really soft and smelling lovely at the moment. Right, so here's your gravy bone. He's going to want to eat it out of there. So a quick hello and a quick goodbye from Rufus. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. I hope you've had a nice week. Like I said, about, I don't know, 20 seconds ago, I've got some amazing things to show you. And yeah, really, really good bargains as well. And yeah, I've been so impressed with what I found recently and I didn't go looking well I did obviously because I bought things but I had to donate um, a whole massive bag full of things so I donated loads of things I've got another box to donate as well so I donated I got rid of loads of stuff and just managed to find some absolutely beautiful things so I couldn't resist them but before I get into the haul I've said her big hello Rufus has said hi too I'm going to do my mug of the day and it is this lovely Emma Bridgewater one that's got little flowers all over it I think they're either are they primroses or are they pansies i'm not sure i want to say violas i might have got that wrong i don't know where that came from but yeah really cute it's got the word mum written on it bought this for myself and it was yeah five pounds in the emma bridgewater sale i got quite a few mugs a few years ago and i got lots of gifts i think all about six um six mugs in total they were five pounds each and i got some um mr and mrs ones for lee's sister i got this one and i think some gifts for you and as well I think he had a couple of the mugs maybe the Emma Bridgewater ones but yeah this is one of the ones I got in the sale it was five pounds and this is my mug of the day and I've got a coffee oh that was a bit of a quick mug of the day wasn't it um, so I'm going to drink this and then show you everything that I've picked up secondhand in the last couple of weeks so I've got clothes I've got bits and bobs to show you Rufus is back hello I haven't got any more gravy bones he's just looking at me he's going to sit there on the landing and watch like that um, I'll start off with, I'll start off, I've got a little plate here, I'll start off, I've got things on the left, on the right of me, and then I'm going to show you everything else, so there's no order, I'll just get on with it. So I picked up this little plate, and this was 10p, and I think it's a, is it a Portugal one? I've got a few made in Portugal plates or bowls, actually a couple of my, the bowls that I had in the same design chipped, so I think they're quite easily... You can chip them quite easily, but 10p, I just thought I need to get that. And it's a cute little cake plate, so sweet. That's on the back. So I do see quite a lot of this in charity shops actually. So I just think it's lovely. I love the detail and design and it's pink and I love pink. So it's just pretty. So I got that for 10p, a little, um, a little bargain. And then at the same time, actually, I went in, it must've been about two weeks ago and I just got that for 10p and this little tulip tea light holder for 50p so I spent 60p <laughs> um, but I was very happy with my 60 pence spent because look how gorgeous that is this little tea light holder with little tulips on I think it's metal this kind of goldy greeny are you metal I don't really know but yeah it's 50p and I just think it's really pretty I, I love things like this just uh, I've got some other little tea light holders they're kind of tulip shape so I thought this is perfect for this time of year and I have got tulips everywhere actually downstairs I love tulips I think they're so pretty so I can't wait until they um pop up in the garden so 50p for that little thing and then I'll go back I'll go over here again I've got some really lovely little um like gifty things but I'm probably just going to keep them because they're just very cute and and I'm going to use them when I go on my travels and stuff. This is a little perfume. So this is a uh, L'Occitane. That's how you say it, isn't it? I used to say it wrong. I probably still am saying it wrong. L'Occitane en Provence um, Eau de Toilette. So a little perfume. It was down to 50p. So I thought um, I thought I would get that as a little bargain. I do, I do love a bargain, as you can probably tell. So I'll just open this up. How much is in here? I do love these uh, the fragrances and these products. I don't buy them new though. I haven't bought, I don't think I've ever bought these products new. I went in, um, I think I was in a, where was it? It was at the airport. And I looked at all the products and I was like, oh, they're so lovely. But then I didn't end up 
buying them. So I'm just glad I can find this kind of thing in charity shops and you know, they cost next to nothing. So let's have a little smell. Oh, that's so nice. I think that's the one I smell actually. It's like lemony. I smell, yeah, it smells like, what's it called? Verbena. I'm, I'm sure that is the one I smell in the, um, in the airport. It smells of sweets. It smells of lemon bonbons. It's exactly what it smells of. Lemon, a lemon bonbon. So I'm going to be smelling of lemon bonbons, which isn't a bad smell to smell of. I do like it's so fresh. So I smell me, smell me lemon bonbons. So yeah, 50p for lemon bonbon, 10 millilitres, but it's just so fresh. So I can just put this in a handbag or take it away in our little travels. And I think it's 50p, it's just brilliant, isn't it? So I'll put that over there. And then the same make, oh no, it's not, it's Crabtree and Evelyn. I picked up this little tin. I love the tin. So I've got a couple of um, Fortnum and Mason tins. I didn't buy the actual tea, but I've got the tea tins from charity shops. So I might put this in my tea and coffee area because it just look, it'll match the other little tins that I've got. And this was, I think, it was, yeah, it was two pounds for this little tin. So make a brilliant gift, but I'm going to keep this for myself um, because I do love a little travel, a travel size. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Love the tin. Um, so this is Crabtree and Evelyn La Source Bath and Body Mini Duo. Two pounds, it says relaxing body wash and body lotion. So in here, funny thing, I don't know, I didn't even check something completely different. But there isn't, there's just there's nothing exciting, just to exactly what was meant to be in here. And these are inside, so just little travel sizes. So I've got a relaxing body lotion and this is a body wash. So I'll just have a little sniff. That's lovely. I think I've got that at, um, have a little smell of that one. I think I've got that at a hotel. You know, and you have like the, um, they give you a little sample size or a little, I don't know, in a hotel you get a little size of this. I'm sure that's in one of the hotels. I've smelled that before. So yeah, a little cute tin with body lotion and body wash in it. I just couldn't resist that little tin. It's so pretty, isn't it? That's gonna look so cute on my little tea and coffee shelves next to the other ones. I love that. You're oh, gorgeous. It looks like um a Versace, I don't know if anyone remembers this, Versace red jeans or Versace blue jeans perfume. It looks like the tin that I used to have for that. I used to love that when I was younger. And then this was a pound, just again a little travel size, a little gift thing, but I'm going to keep it and use it when we go on our travel. So in here you've got Citrus Blush Mini Duo, what's what it's called, a little something special. So this would be, yeah, a lovely little gift. That was only a pound, so really good value, probably cheaper than you could buy the travel products, you know, in boots or wherever you buy them. So 50 millilitres, uh, you've got what's in here, shower gel and a body lotion. So yeah, perfect takeaway and just cute little, cute little box. So I'll put that there. Now this was such a good bargain. Well, this one, I mean, it's lovely and it was a pound, which is great. So I do like these diffusers. This one is Airwick Summer Delights with flowers, melon and vanilla. So it's just that one with the little like balls in it. So that was a pound. So hopefully that will smell nice. And then this one, it was two pounds. So I saw it and it was in um, a box they hadn't kind of gone through yet. And I said, oh, is this, um, can I have a look in here or do you need to um, check everything? She went, oh, no, help yourself, have a look in there. So I had a look in there and I saw this. So I saw that like stamp thing poking out and I thought, what's that? And I saw like a little fish head and I didn't know what it was, but I thought it might be, I don't know, it might be a mug inside or something. And it's another reed diffuser. So it's a really gorgeous, like the, the packaging is lovely, but inside it's so cute. And it was only, I think it was two pounds actually. It was either a pound or two pounds because she wasn't sure if um, if it had gone off. Cause I think it started to, I don't know, it's, it's um, spilt a little bit inside the box. So she wasn't sure and it looks a little bit, it might be fine looks a little bit might be old so if it is old it just does smell nice though so i might be able to use that if not you know i can just put different diffuser um like fluid inside it so that's it's called stargazy that's the um the name of this diffuser and that's like the oof, i just chucked it and then caught it um <laughs> so i'll give it a little shake and hopefully 
does smell nice. There's a little bit of spillage on there, so I'm gonna go and wash my hands in a second. But I'll just show you what's inside. So the box is gorgeous. The maker's cream corn wool, which I haven't heard before, but it just looks so lovely, doesn't it? Handmade, well, it says made in Britain, member of the British Candle Makers, and it says cream is a unique Cornish lifestyle brand inspired by the sheltered harbours, windswept moody, no, windswept moors and sunny bays of our beautiful country, letting you bring a little piece of Cornwall into your home. So hopefully it doesn't smell like fish. It doesn't smell like fish, but look at this. So me and the lady had a little look inside because she was worried it was it spilt. So inside here, so there's just a little bit of spillage in the box, but obviously I'm not gonna be keeping that anyway in the box. Um, look how gorgeous this is. So I was really, um, well, I was very shocked. I just, I, I couldn't believe how cute this little diffuser was. And look at this. Look how adorable that is. So you've, there's a little jug, a little china jug with, with fish heads on. And then a little top. Just so cute and delicate. And I've never seen a diffuser like that. So it had to come home with me. Really pretty, really well made. And if that diffuser is off, um, yeah, I'll just put some other other um diffuser stuff in here or just i could keep that for something else couldn't i actually have a little milk um i don't know milk or something or little flowers i don't know it's just really i had to i had to get it because it's just too cute so that was either a pound or two pounds i'm not entirely sure and at the same time i found this and i saw it and thought that is beautiful i kind of thought it was modern when I first looked at it because it's quite large because you know all the um, like old-fashioned teacups are really small so you can't get much of a, a cup of tea in them but they're so pretty this one's really big so it's got the cup and saucer so that's the Emma Bridgewater size and it's kind of the same size so it's really large and so pretty it was £3.50 for the cup and the saucer and I've been using it like non-stop since I've got it it's just it's so beautiful. I'm gonna put a little picture on Instagram actually. Might already be on by the time this video's on of this um, cup and saucer. The make is, it says on here, I'll show you that and I'll read it at the same time on here. So it says, Petit, 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 Petit Fleur by Roy Kirkham, fine bone china made in England and exclusive design, 1993. Sorry, I wasn't even showing you properly. And I had a little Google, um, so I don't know how much they're worth, but I just think they are, it's beautiful. So I'd love to get another one. I, don't, I probably won't ever be able to find another one like this, but maybe I can get one on eBay so I can have two. I do like um, a little set of two, actually. But how beautiful, how gorgeous is that? So I've been having tea and coffee out of this the last few days. So pretty. So £3.50 for my cup and saucer. I love it. It's so, um, oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's got little, it's like deep, like, um, I don't know, grooves around the top as well. I don't know, you probably can't see them, but you might be able to. Gorgeous, so pretty. I love you. Love that. Um, so that is all of the bits on my right. And then over here, I've got some exciting things to show you i've got a hairband this was 90, uh, 75p for this hairband and then it's just like that i just like the color so i thought i would get that it's been a while since i've had a hairband so i thought it's quite a nice color nice for spring and i picked up some camping bits and pieces we've got some of these like water carriers but one of them's gone a bit grotty so probably could do with replacing it so i got two water carriers they were a pound each what's the price oh it says it on the back there a pound for this one and you can get five litres in there. So five litres for that water carrier. And then this one was a pound as well. I think it's slightly smaller, but these are brilliant when you're camping, aren't they? So you can just fill up a couple and then you've got lots of drinking water and fresh water. So two of those, they were a pound each. And then I saw this and thought it looked brilliant for camping. So this was a pound. It's um, the Maker's Trek Mates. It says kitchen sink, large 10 litres. So basically I can do the washing up or put all the washing up in here and take it off you know, when you're camping and you take it off to the communal washing up area. So I can do it all in here or at least load it up in here. And it's sturdier than my normally wash up in a little plastic 
bowl thing and you're sort of it's really awkward isn't it so i thought this looked brilliant so it was a pound i think I've, i don't know if i've said that and you put everything in there it's got a lid as well which is great because the flies won't be able to get it so i can do all the washing up on the back um it just says durable and robust waterproof bowl that is ideal for washing or cookware in i can actually wash it up in there if i get some warm water two carry handles 10 litres waterproof and fully welded seams so it's really strong as well it seems like such a good um quality product so a pound for that and that's what it looks like on the back so i think lee's gonna love that although i i'm the washer opera he'll like the you know the that it's a good camping sturdy thing even though it'll be it's my job to wash up i don't mind washing up it's one of those jobs that i don't hate it I hate hoovering, but I don't mind washing up. You know, you have your jobs you hate and the jobs you don't mind. I don't mind it. So that is everything I've got to show you. All my kind of, I don't know, bric-a-brac, I suppose. All the home decor -y camping bits and that cute little reed diffuser. I just think it's gorgeous. So I'm on to the clothes. I've got quite a lot to show you here. So a couple of dresses and jumpers. And then at the end, I've got a brilliant find. I think it's brand new. It's a white company item. And yeah, I think it's brand new and I couldn't believe it when I found it. So I got this little dress. I'll start off with this one out of the clothes. It's a really cute little, um, it's exactly the style I like. It's from, where are you from? Oasis. It looks like it's quite an old one. So maybe years old, 10 years old or I don't know. Oasis, it's medium. It's really like soft material. It was three pounds from Sue Ryder Charity Shop. It's got lots of hearts all over it and then kind of goes in at the waist here and flares out so it's exactly what I go for and it's perfect for Valentine's Day isn't it so I'll probably wear this on Valentine's Day with a little pair of tights or something really cute I think it's to the knee or maybe just past the knee really pretty with long sleeves quite a nice warm cozy dress that fits really well I've tried that on had a quick try on and that was really nice I'll chuck that over there and then this is so pretty so it's going to be perfect for sort of spring and summer we're going out soon actually next next week we've got a night out with our friends so I might even wear this with tights and boots or maybe just some boots but I don't know if I'm brave enough to have bare legs I don't think I am so probably will be tights and boots perhaps but it's really cute and then it's quite long, so it's past the knee. So this would be quite nice in the summer with flip-flops or some sandals. So it's from, is that Tesco? Yeah, from Tesco. It's a, it says it's size eight. It's not a size eight at all because it fits me. It's not a size eight. It's got a stretchy back. I don't actually know it's a size eight. It was five pounds, but you can tell, can't you, sometimes with things by looking at them rather than going on size that they're, they're not what they say they are. But yeah, it fits really nice. I tried it on very quickly. Just a really pretty little dress. I love the sleeves really cute little sleeves and the neck's really nice as well it's got little buttons here and then i've got a couple of jumpers to show you so this one is a lovely knitted big thick pink jumper it's in perfect condition it doesn't feel or look like it's been worn i mean you never know but it's in yeah it's in such good condition it's really heavy so i'm going to be wearing this it looks slightly nylon-y in this light but it's not it's like a just like knitted -y material but i think the warm light's making it look a bit shiny but it's not actually shiny in real life it's lovely um polo neck which i've been wearing a lot of it's kind of all i wear at the minute a polo neck because you just need snuggly stuff around your neck this is actually from a charity shop too this little jumper um i haven't shown this but it was just i think is it zara or something zara or river island or something it was a couple of quid and i just really like the neckline and the sleeves so it's got little sort of scalloped detail which i think is really pretty so this was tesco jumper nice and big it was how much it says it's size eight but it's not it fits um so it's probably more of a 12 and it was three pounds 50. so three pound 50 for that lovely big chunky warm jumper Ugh. there we go and this one as well is just a plain black polo neck jumper it's from River Island and it's really thick actually. It's quite a nice thick material. It's got the neck that I the necks that I love, long sleeved, and um size 10 from River Island, and that was a pound, so really cheap. A little bargain jumper for a pound. I love just a plain black jumper because they just go with anything. You just chuck them on and wear them, can't you? So 10 pounds for that. It's not too it's warm, but it's not too chunky. So I can wear that one. Um when I layer stuff up underneath my coat and then I'm onto my final bargain 
and I couldn't believe it when I saw this. So this is from the Sue Ryder, the White Company dressing gown. It's in absolute perfect condition. I had a look, so I thought there's going to be a mark on it. There's going to be something wrong, and there isn't. It's just gorgeous. So it was five, no, three pounds. Let's say, what did he say? Three pound ninety. It's a funny price. Three pounds ninety for this um, dressing gown. It's such nice material. It just says sleep the white company and it's got really pretty little lace uh, detail all around the outside on this bit here the fold over part and yeah it's just so soft what's it saying here uh, and it's large as well so it's not gonna be too tight 100% cotton large just as the white company so a really gorgeous dressing gown which I can wear in the summer it's so pretty can't believe I found that second hand well I think it's brand new but you know it's in a charity shop £3.90 so it's got a little tie there the sleeves have also got a little lace detail on and yeah it's nice and long as well so it's down to kind of past the knee it's just, it's just gorgeous isn't it so I was so happy I couldn't believe it, it was on an um end of an aisle with some sleep stuff sleep stuff like pajamas and different things i don't always look and i i did luckily and then i went oh and yeah so i had to get this beautiful dressing gown and like i said it's in perfect condition just smells of newness you know it smells of nothing it smells of you smell very you knew you smell very new so it doesn't matter if it was um new or not but it is in perfect condition i love it such a bargain love that it's gorgeous i can't wait to wear that in in the summer when it gets a bit warm it's been so cold lately it's been chilly it's been absolutely freezing this week hasn't it so i've had my massive thick oody hoodie things on and and hot water bottles and scarves and i've just been still been cold it's been really chilly but that is everything that is everything in my charity shop haul so i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give the video a like and make sure you subscribe and let me know your favorite item in this haul there's so much that i love i didn't i haven't got like loads have i but i've got some really good quality lovely bargains hopefully the stargazy scent will be okay and just to let you know it smells really nice so i was a bit worried it would would be off but the was it stargazer this cornwall one smells really lovely and i had quite a bit left over so i just topped up a different reed diffuser that was empty and it smells i don't know it smells like really floral and like essential oily it smells lovely and then this one just the basic airwick one um smells lovely it's very floral and i um threw away the top part actually you know like the the bit that goes on there but I always throw those away by accident and then I realise that it needs to go on there so that's gone the recycling because it's just a bit of um, a plastic lid thing so that's gone with the box and the recycling but they both smell lovely so I just thought I'd let you know but they smell gorgeous I love that one it's so cute that little jug isn't it and this teacup and saucer is just one of my favourites I, I really love it I can't explain how much I love that and enjoy using it. I think that is just gorgeous. And the White Company um, dressing gown as well. I just think it's a brilliant find and will be so nice when it gets a bit warmer to wear that, you know, around the house rather than looking, I look so awful at the minute when I wear these massive hoodie things with loads of fleece pajamas. So I'll look nice one day when it gets a bit warmer. I'll put my posh little white company secondhand dressing gown on. So yeah, let me know your favorite item, add it in the description box and come over to Instagram. If you're on Instagram, um, come say hi on there. I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and I've got a house account as well called Kate's Georgian Home. So I'll link those below. And I'll also link the videos that I filmed recently. So last week I did, oh, I was a home bargains haul. So I went to home bargains and got some things. So I'll link that below. And then before that, I think it was Poundland. And before that, I think it was a come shopping with me, something like that. And before that was like wedding stuff. So I'll link all those below. If you want to go and watch them, you're more than welcome. But have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you next week. So I think I'm going to do a mix of B&M and Poundland. It's a bit of a mixed haul. So that'll be here next week at, um, at two o'clock. But yeah, have a lovely weekend. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.